<laughs> and this probably began with some idea of doing good work for animals. But somehow or another, it went south. Butler County Prosecutor Mike Moser says everything at Helping Hands for Furry Paws Rescue went south in a big way. Investigators found 86 dogs in deplorable conditions. They were crammed into dirty cages without food or water and inside a garage with no ventilation. The, the sheer magnitude of this case was just unbelievable. You know, the number of animals that were suffering. Investigators also discovered 30 dead dogs in freezers. What they saw was essentially a canine concentration camp of the worst order. Moser says that's what led to the four and a half year sentence for the rescue's owner, Rhonda Murphy. It was just a careless, reckless operation. Moser says this impacted people across the county, including those that quickly had to take care of the dozens of dogs here at the Animal Friends Humane Society. The Humane Society's director, Anna Friedman, told me back in August the influx of dogs put a major strain on the group. We did not have a lot of open space prior to this, and we certainly, as you have seen, do not now. Um, we have animals in conference rooms and offices um, and all of those spaces. Moser hopes Murphy's actions will serve as a wake-up call for everyone. And my hope is not only will animals be saved by keeping her away from animals during that 54 month period of time, but it'll also serve as a deterrent to anybody else that thinks that they can get away with this type of mistreatment for animals. I and mean, she'll receive a lot better care where she's going than she gave to the animals that she was there to protect and didn't. In Hamilton, Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. Thanks for checking out Local 12's YouTube channel. Click the links and hit subscribe so you can be notified anytime we post new stories.